So, my other half just did a video where she asked a whole bunch of questions to a Magic 8 ball. Next, like, calendar year, that is the question. Yes, definitely. <laughs> you see, with hers, she didn't use a Magic 8 ball, though. That looked fun. I think I'm gonna do that. Especially because YouTube said that they're not gonna monetize me anymore if I don't get like an extra thousand watch hours or something, 800 or something like that. I guess when you don't post a video in like nine months, that goes down when you don't have a lot of subscribers. So first off, hey, you should subscribe down there. And second, Go watch all of my old videos while I remodel this house poorly because, I mean, it's not the end of the world if I lose monetization because that channel has probably made me like $11 total. But yeah, go go watch the videos. Help me get up to that in the next it's 30 days, but I got the email like two weeks ago. So let's do that. One issue though. She doesn't have a magic eight ball. She used a computer program. And, you know, here at What's John Doing, we just don't half-ass things around here. We full-ass things. I'm very relaxed and it's like 11 at night. This is gonna be harder than I thought. I need to do it today though, because her video came out today. It didn't, it came out yesterday, but I didn't see it until today. And the world revolves around me. So obviously it came out today. I guess I'll get off the couch. I don't want to show you the mess that's over there, though. Proceeds to show you the mess that's over here. Lots of gift wrapping happenings happening over here. I even use a glue gun for gift wrapping. And like a man, it has to be a power tool. Oh, 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 oh. So I'm off the couch. Walmart is closed. What kind of society is this where Walmart is closed at 11.52 p.m.? 10.52 p.m. Daylight Savings Time. I haven't changed my clocks yet. You see, I was going to change it, but I've said this before. In order to change the clock on your microwave or your stove, you basically need to be an electrical engineer. And I'm not one of those. If only I knew an electrical engineer who could do that for me. Possibly the same electrical engineer who did that for me last daylight savings time in the spring. Hint, hint, hint. All right, so Target is open. God, what's this world come into? Walmart closed. Um, do they even put locks on the doors at Walmart? I thought they were open like indefinitely. Um, so nuclear war happens. We still have cockroaches. We still have Twinkies and Walmart is still open. The cockroaches are running the Walmart and all they have for sale are Twinkies. That is how Jesus intended this world to be. Okay, I'm going on a tirade here. Anyways, I looked at the Target app. The Target around the, around, bleh, around the corner from me does not have magic eight balls, but the Target all the way across town does. So this is dedication here. I really need to stay monetized so I can get $11 over the next... It's probably been 15 months I've been monetized, so a little under a dollar a month. How else do you think I'm going to pay for this house? All right, let's get a jacket on. It's cold. It snowed outside today. This wasn't even just regular snow. It was big old heavy snow, but I have a driveway now. I don't need to shovel snow off of gravel anymore. Seriously, I, I gotta turn that down, otherwise I'm gonna get a copyright strike. Although that doesn't matter if I'm not monetized, YouTube. Um, so this is some serious dedication. I had to get on the highway to come over here. There are not a lot of cars in the parking lot. I had to get on the highway to come here. I don't get on the highway. I don't have a fear of driving on the highway. I think it's fun. I just don't like going very far for things. I have my work on one end, I have my house on the other end. They are seven minutes apart. My dentist is in the middle. The mall is in the middle. The grocery store, Target, 
uh, my bank, my accountant, everything is in that seven minute stretch of road. That's how it's intended to be. I don't drive outside of those two uh, barriers for anything. Well, for one thing, it's very important to me, but nothing else. But for this video, I drove all the way across town to Target. We're gonna get a magic four ball. I wish it was a four ball. The number four on in billiards is purple, like Brett Favre when he went to the Vikings, and that just makes me so happy. We're about to find out if they're even open. The internet says they're open until 11.59 p.m., which is a really weird time for them to close, but it is currently, but it is currently 11.08 p.m. I just showed that a second ago. It had a message from my other half. And it's not that it said she sent a video. Not sure if she wants her last name being on there though, so I had to re-record that. I don't remember where I cut it out. So if it's weird, that's why. So we're looking for aisle E40. Hey, that's me after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving food is the best, especially the cranberries that come out of a can like foop. That is my favorite. You cut them into little slices it's like eating jello, but it's healthy. I'm guessing E40 is gonna be by the toys. Somewhere over here. Uh, I don't see any. Here we go, there's E3, E5. I got a long ways to go. All right, so we gotta come in this aisle here and look at the important stuff. This looks cool. I mean, I feel like the, you don't need a fancy set to make that. There's so many cool Lego sets now. I mentioned this on a video on the main channel, but if any of you, any of you want to send me a Christmas gift, a really cool Lego set, that's the way to go. I like movie stuff. They should have another aisle, right? Yeah, there's more over here. I think, that's my, here's Lego. Like that is so cool. That's a really big one though. Uh, what else? Right here, right here. Uh, I even like the, the plants and the flowers. I wouldn't mind the bonsai tree. I couldn't kill these plants. There's another one up there. So if any of you want to send me these things, be my guest. Any other really cool ones that I want? Nothing here, it looks like. But if you're at the Lego store, then it's another story. I really want the James Bond car and the DeLorean, but the old set. I have the one that just came out. What did I come here for? Oh yeah, Magic 8-Ball, E40. So I'm like out of toys now and we're ending at E37. Something is amiss. Wait, 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 E39. I bet this is E40 and the sign is missing. You know, I'm really not seeing it anywhere over here. I tried to reach up to this top shelf, but I've got such little arms. It's got to be over here somewhere, right? Right? It's supposed to be right here. Their website says they have six hit this store, though. So, found them. They were on a shelf. Had to have an employee help. Uh, he knew exactly where they were. But, um, we got one. Magic 8-Ball, why are you so di- oh, That's supposed to be a yes or no question. Magic 8-Ball, are you this difficult to find for everyone or am, am I just this dumb? Ask again later. I don't know if you can read that. That is the right answer. Take note, folks. If I say, am I just dumb? Don't answer that question, please, for my sanity. There's one other place I want to look to see if there are any unique ones. I think by the greeting cards is the place where I want to be. Right over here. Usually they have fun things like this. I actually have one of these. No means no. And I liked it so much I bought a yes button online. I really want to use this at a timeshare when they're trying to sell me on something. Just keep pushing that button. Uh, any other cool stuff over here? I had one of these, but it was taken away from me. No other 
question and answer type things. I don't really see anything super fun as it is. This, these are fun. I got one of these on a pallet once. Uh, the beer belt. And I can really say I have a beer belly. Congrats on adulting. Yeah, I don't deserve that. I think that's all I got. This is probably my favorite section of the store, by the way. It's a little lackluster right now, though. So I'm too lazy to send this in the form of a text to my other half. But her dad would really like this as a Christmas gift. It's only 10 bucks. All right, she watches these. Probably, I don't know, she's probably unsubscribed by now. All right, got it. Time to drive 22 hours back home. At least that's what it feels like. Um, I'm really gonna need you guys to watch this video like 50 times to, so I can get those monetization hours up because this cost about as much as I have made the entirety of my YouTube career on this channel. Ugh. So I really need to make back my investment here. Although I could probably write it off in my taxes since I'm probably never gonna look at this thing again. But still, watch this video a whole bunch of times so I can at least make some money back to pay for this. That did not go in the back seat. That hit me in the head. All right. We got it here. Let's take this thing out of the pack. Oh, it's taped. Who needs this much tape? All right. That didn't work. There we go. You couldn't even see me throw that. All right. We got the magic eight ball. It's number eight. Don't need that. Ugh. I'm not good at sitting on the floor. I'm not nearly flexible enough for this. Um, but I'm in front of my Christmas tree. I'm not gonna turn the lights on. There's a whole bunch of gifts down here though. This one looks fancy. All right, Magic 8-Ball, we need to do a control test. Are you going to be honest with us? Outlook, good. All right, can you, I don't know if I can flip this up for you to see. No, it rotates too much when I do that. So you're just going to have to take my word for it on what this says. Magic 8-Ball are the things that you predict going to come true. Better not tell you now. Well, that's not very helpful. My ankle is sore already sitting like this. I can only sit on the floor if my legs are like straight out. All right, now let's, let's ask a real question. Probably should have prepared some of these in advance. Magic 8-Ball, will the questions I ask be good questions? Better not tell you now. Well, screw you too. Magic 8-Ball, will you tell me now? Will the questions be good questions? Reply Hazy, try again. This is not, I think I bought the wrong one. This one's defective. Um, all right. Real questions, and we're thinking. So, Magic 8-Ball, we're shaking it up good. Are the Panthers gonna make it into the playoffs this year? It is decidedly so. Woo! All right, Magic 8-Ball. All right, here's a good, don't wanna kick that. Here's a good one. In the year 2023, Am I going to propose a toast at an event? It is certain I will be proposing a toast. You know, my dream is to be at some fancy black tie event, like a wedding or a funeral or something, and say, I'd like to make a toast, and then plug in a toaster, put some bread in it, and wait awkwardly for three minutes while it turns into toast. I would really like to do that sometime. I don't go to fancy events, though. Maybe my next funeral I'll do that. Not my funeral, but the next one that I'm invited to. Or maybe my funeral. That would really freak people out if I got out of the casket and proposed a toast. All right, Magic 8-Ball. You know, everyone's doing Vlogmas right now, including my other half. Should I do Vlogmas videos? I know we're a little late, but should I start them now? Concentrate and ask again. All right. Magic 8-Ball. 
Should I start doing Vlogmas this year? As I see it, yes. All right, we're a little late, but um, she's got a video uploading. She just texted me. You can't see that because it's right, right here on my screen. She messaged me and said video uploading. It was one we filmed together today, kind of. I just had a little shot in the end where I tried a disgusting pickle and taco seasoning shot. You'll have to wait for that. If you're subscribed to her, you'll see it. Uh, so I guess I'm doing Vlogmas now. So I'm going to try and do regular, I'm not going to say daily, but regular. We'll try daily vlogs on this channel uh, now through Christmas. We'll see how well that works out if it happens. All right, Magic 8-Ball. So let me show you something first. I need to give you guys some context. So my other half gave me the sweetest gift that I've ever gotten. It's an advent calendar that she made. She put a different gift in each one. And it is like the, the greatest thing that I've ever gotten. They're not all super fancy gifts. Some of them are like this moon pie ornament, or she knows me so well, the turkey ornament. Some of them are just beads, which I think she means she wants me to lift up my shirt for her. That would be weird, but sure. They also have jingle bells. Here, listen. <laughs> so anyways, in three of them, there were Reese's peanut butter eggs, which is my favorite candy. Easter candy is the best candy. You can fight me on that. As much as I love Christmas, I celebrate it six months a year. It just does not have candy canes. Eh. But Easter, Halloween is terrible. What do you get? Circus peanuts, candy corn. I would rather have, like... Hepatitis, but Easter, we've got Peeps, we've got Cadbury eggs, and most importantly, we've got Reese's peanut butter eggs, and three of these advent calendar day gift things were Reese's peanut butter eggs. So, Magic 8-Ball, will I get Reese's peanut butter eggs for breakfast tomorrow? It is decidedly so. There are not a lot of answers on this one. I feel like we've only had a couple of them. All right, Magic 8-Ball. I need to think of another question. I really should have thought of some of these in advance. Especially after watching her video where she struggled to think of questions on the spot. And I thought to myself, she really should have thought of some of these in advance. And then I go and make the same video and I didn't think of any of them in advance. I'm not good at things. Oh, I got one. Yeah, this one's inspired from one of hers. Magic 8 Ball. Well, Christiana, my girlfriend if you don't know, um, be disappointed in the Christmas gifts that I give her this year. My reply is no. Boom. Home run. She's going to love this. This one isn't even for her. So she probably isn't. She's, she's going to love some of these gifts. Probably not the one that is for someone else. So anyways. Score. Uh, what else should I do? Magic 8 Ball. I currently have one, two, three, four. That's it? It's gotta be more than that. I guess so. Magic 8 Ball. I only have four Christmas trees in my house. Should I put up another Christmas tree or two this year yet? You may rely on it. I think that's a yes. If you see me shake it a little bit like this, it's because it's kind of at an angle and I can't read it. What does this say? I can't read this. Made in China. Uh, and then a number. Mattel. And then a number. MJ.1.NL. I don't know what any of that means. Uh, Magic 8 Ball. can't think of anything right now. I'm just going to shake it until I think of one. My right arm is going to be really buff by the end of this. And we got to we got to switch it off here. Magic 8 Ball. Will Brett Favre return to the NFL as a player in my lifetime? It is certain, boom. Oh, I can't sit on the floor so long. I really need better questions. Um, let's see. Hmm. 
One second. Heck is this? I have a problem. I like to put pens and markers hooked down to my shirt there at work. And I forget about it. And I've got a stack of like 30 of these between my car and my house. Yeah, I really should bring those back to work at some point. All right, Magic 8 Ball. Am I going to have a $100,000 warehouse sale this year in 20, next year? We're not doing it anymore this year. Am I going to have a $100,000 warehouse sale in the year 2023? It is certain. I'm sensing a pattern here. A lot of the same ones. Magic 8 Ball, do you have more than three answers? Very doubtful. It's very, you can't see that. It's very doubtful. Wow, you really can't see anything there. I can't see anything. Stupid. Here, maybe if I were to do this. Now you can, hold on. There we go. Now you can read it. And it says, Outlook, not so good. I didn't ask it a question, though. I said if I do that, maybe you can read it. Outlook, not so good. But if you could read it, then that means... Well, technically it didn't say no. It just said the outlook isn't so good. So it's like a 3% chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. All right. Uh, let's see. What should we ask next? Magic 8 Ball. Will I be disappointed in the gifts that I get from my girlfriend? Magic 8 Ball says, Cannot predict now. Okay. I, it's very hard to disappoint me, honestly. I get amused by the simplest of things, like sitting here talking to a magic eight ball or a random T-Rex mask that the mouth moves when you talk. I really should have bought that. That was so cool. I don't know how much it cost. It was like in the middle of an aisle. It clearly did not belong there, but I had to put it on. And it wasn't until after I put it on that I realized the jaw moved when I talked. I enjoyed that very much. I might have to go back. All right, <clears throat> Magic 8-Ball. Will there be a reboot to Back to the Future? Without a doubt. And Magic 8-Ball, will the reboot to Back to the Future be good? Ask again later. Magic 8-Ball, is it later enough? Without a doubt. Magic 8-Ball, will the sequel to Back to the Future be good? Ask again later. Magic 8-Ball, why did you tell me it was later and then not later enough? Outlook, not so good. My outlook is not so good either at this point. I'm about to throw a softball pitch with this thing. Magic 8-Ball, will the sequel, or I'm sorry, will the reboot to Back to the Future be good? You may rely on it. Yes. All right. So while I think of questions, let me show you this thing I bought today. Jalapeno pepper ketchup. It's historic Lynchburg. It was at a bourbon store. I love ketchup. I could, ketchup is my favorite fruit smoothie. I could drink it. When I get fries at a restaurant, I really don't care much for the fries. I just use them to scoop up as much ketchup as I can. I will hold the bottle and squeeze like this big of a ketchup pile on my plate. And that won't make it through all of the fries. I will do that three or four times. I, like, this bottle, assuming I go through my normal ketchup portions with this, it's supposed to be spicy and 110 proof. I don't even know what that means. But maybe you're just supposed to drink it. I would drink ketchup. Anyways, a bottle like this of regular ketchup, Heinz, of course, none of that Hunt's garbage, um, I would probably finish it in... Five servings, maybe. I love ketchup. I will eat that on everything. I will eat it on french fries, tater tots, chicken, steak, chocolate pudding. Doesn't matter. I will eat ketchup on it. Magic 8 Ball. Will I ever be flexible enough to comfortably sit on the floor without being sore? Signs point to yes. I don't believe that. I think this thing is defective because I really don't see that happening. Uh, let's see. Magic 8-Ball. Uh, I was going to ask something about the weather. But, eh. I have a phone, and that tells me the weather. Hmm. Magic 8-Ball. Will I see a major life change 
in the year 2023? Signs point to yes. Magic 8-Ball, what might that change be? As I see it, yes. So my major life change will be yes. Maybe it'll be like that Jim Carrey movie where he had to say yes to everything. I feel like that would be a really bad idea, but it could make a fun video. Go skydiving, yes. Learn Chinese, yes. Should watch that movie again. It's been a while since I've seen it. Magic 8-Ball, what is Jim Carrey's best movie? Without a doubt. Man, I was hoping it would say something with the word yes in it. That would have been funny. Can we pretend that happened? Yeah, let's pretend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-edit that. Magic 8-Ball, what is Jim Carrey's best movie? Nice point, yes. Magic 8-Ball. Can't think of any other questions. I'm bad at being put on the spot here. And this video is probably getting pretty long, so I'm only gonna ask a couple more, a couple more. A couple of more, I said that very Italiano. My entire experience with the Italian language is Mario and everybody loves Raymond, and that's it. Uh, let's see. Oh, and the guy from Little Caesars, here he goes, pizza, pizza. But he's more Greek than Italian, or is he Roman? Was Caesar, I think Caesar was Roman. I'm wrong there. He's more Roman than Italian. But Rome is in Italy. Rome isn't, that's why Caesar. That is why Caesar is the mascot for Italian food. Because Rome and Italy, it's the same. How have I never put that together before? Huh. I always figured it was like just some, we have a pizza chain in Green Bay here. It's just a local place. They have like three or four locations. It's called Gallagher's Pizza. You might notice the name Gallagher. It's an Irish name. It's an Irish pizza joint. The family is Irish, so they have, they've got like clovers and stuff all over the place in there. I kind of figured Little Caesars was something like that, but apparently, apparently I'm not very observant. You ever have one of those? What is the biggest like mind blown thing you've ever experienced where you just can't believe you never put two and two together? Leave a comment below. I have to know because that might be mine and you saw it live. Wow. That's, that's something. Uh, Magic 8-Ball. Should I return all of these gifts and give my girlfriend a bucket for Christmas? My sources say no. Well, your sources may be wrong because she's been talking about a bucket like all year. That that's the thing she wants for Christmas. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's one. Magic 8-Ball. Will my dishwasher break again? Reply, reply hazy, try again. For reference, uh, I came home, my house was flooded. My dishwasher broke. I had to take the whole thing apart. I've never worked in an appliance before. I took the whole thing apart, the motor, the uh, pump, all that stuff off, the little fan blades in the inside, replaced the part that was broken, and then broke the part while replacing it, so I had to do it a second time. But it was like 80 bucks for the part. Twice, it's 160 bucks, and that is a lot cheaper than paying for appliance repair tech. Honestly, I figure a repair person would charge me about 400 bucks, and at that rate, I'd just buy a new dishwasher. All right, Magic 8-Ball, will my dishwasher break again? Outlook good. Well, that is not good. Unless maybe the Outlook is good. Good means it's not gonna break again because that would be a good thing. If Outlook was bad, then a bad thing would happen. Kind of like when you take like a, a medical test, like. Um, if you have cancer, if you think you have cancer and you go in and they say the results are negative, that's a sad thing because negative means bad, right? And if you're positive, that's a good thing. Positive. Yeah, we're positive. That's not how it works. They lied to us. They're just trying to trick us. Big medicine and all their tricks. Magic eight ball. I've got nothing here. Ow. I just hit my shin with this. This is why people are not meant to sit on the floor like this. Oh, questions, questions and answers, answers to questions. What should we ask next? I should have done a live video. That way you guys could be watching and give me questions to ask. 
Maybe I'll do that sometime this year. I'll do a live video and we'll just ask this guy some questions. <clears throat> Magic 8-Ball. Will, will Brett Favre become the next president of the United States? We know he's the one true president, the, the one true person that can actually succeed as president. There's nobody better than Brett Favre. Uh, as I see it, yes. Yes. All right. I can't think of any good questions, so I just come up with dumb ones. This video is going to be terrible. Hers is much better than mine. Even though, like, there was a two-minute pause where she was trying to switch to another Magic 8-Ball program, that just made it even better. Maybe I should just use the internet instead of driving across town to Target to buy a $10 piece of plastic. Like, this thing, see, look at that seam. It seriously feels like if I drop it, it's going to split in half. All right, I'm going to go off camera. And I'm going to write three good questions. I'm going to write them down with this. I'm going to write them down with this, and this will be my piece of paper. So, all right, here we go. Questions one, two, and three. So I'm going to go off camera. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to fill out this form. Whenever you're asking important questions, you got to fill out a form, right? And that'll give me a chance to stand up and stretch my back and legs because Holy cow, this is sore sitting like this right now. If you notice I keep changing positions, it's because I do not sit on the floor well. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back in a sec. Back in a jiff. All right, it's been a jiff. It's been 14 jiffs. This is about a week's supply of peanut butter for me. I may have a problem, but what you call a problem, I call a solution. All right, let's start with these questions. So I got my list here, I'm not gonna show you. I'll prove it to you in the end. I forgot I was gonna make a festive Christmas drink. So here we go. Can you see what this cup says? Um, they may have screwed me on my flight, but I got the last laugh. All right, so we're gonna have some eggnog here. Pour a little glass. Doesn't that look delicious? I don't know why, but this eggnog looks so much worse than most eggnogs. Although it also says do not use if seal under cap is broken and the seal under the cap was broken. But it tasted fine last month when I tried it. Mm. All right. I'm kidding. I just bought it the other day. Well, at least the other day will be the month anniversary. Anyways, so Magic 8 Ball. Will I hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube? in the year 2023. Most likely, I'd agree with that. Now I wonder if Magic 8-Ball interpreted that as this channel or my main channel. Let's pretend it's this one. Wouldn't it be crazy if this channel got more subscribers than the main one? All right, Magic 8-Ball, here's an important one. Does Ted Danson own a green sweatshirt? My reply is no. Well, that just doesn't seem like something Ted Danson wouldn't own. Ted Danson is a national treasure. He would absolutely own a green uh, sweatshirt. Maybe it's a t-shirt. Magic 8-Ball, is Ted Danson's green shirt, in fact, a t-shirt? You may rely on it. That's, that's what the, the confusion was. It's a t-shirt. Magic 8-Ball... Will this eight ball end up in the trash after this video because of your terrible predictions? Outlook good. Hmm. All right, and that is my three questions. And I did write them on here. I had to abbreviate because it is very difficult to write on a plastic bag with a Sharpie. And I should be careful because, I don't know, it doesn't really rub off. Somebody is gonna be rooting through my trash and find this and be very confused why it says, questions, 200k subs, Ted Danson, and trash. I'm hoping they think that means sub sandwiches. I want 200,000 sub sandwiches. I bet I've eaten at least 200,000 sandwiches in my lifetime. It seems like something I would do. Yeah, yeah, I think so. This is really good. Probably shouldn't be drinking this because as soon as I'm done filming, I'm gonna edit this and then go right to bed because it is now, hold on, hold on. It is now 12.19 a.m. Well, you know what? It's after midnight, so uh, 
It is now the 16th. We're going to open this one together. Uh, hopefully, it's nothing too, too juicy. All right, let's see. Oh, well, that's disappointing. She must have made a mistake. She just clearly blew her nose and then just stuffed the Kleenex in here. And I think, oh, I think there's something else inside of here. We get fancy tissue paper. What do we get? What did we get? How do you open this? Hey, look, a tubby cart. That was a weird noise. A tubby cardinal. I'm gonna hang this right on my tree. And it's a fancy ornament too. It's not one of those cheap little plastic ones. Um, it has the price on it. I'm not gonna say what the price is. That was day 16 of the advent calendar. I'll hang this on the tree too. There. That is a beautiful Christmas ornament. So that is the Magic 8-Ball video. Now I guess we're doing Vlogmas now, so I'm gonna try and do daily videos. I'm not gonna make any promises, but it's gonna be a low effort December. If you follow Technology Connections, he does that in November. I'm doing it in December. I could also do No Shave December too, but I've already shaved in December. Eh. Um, so this is going to be Vlogmas number one. Now in the title it says number two, that's just to confuse all of you. If you made it this far, I'm letting you in on the joke. But for those of you, most of you, who just think these videos are terrible, understandable, I get it, um, and you didn't make it this far, you're just gonna spend the rest of your life wondering where was Vlogmas number one? Whatever happened to that? By the way, if anyone from Delta Airlines is watching, I did not steal this glass. I got a case of them on a pallet. And if you don't know what that means, you should watch the other channel. Um, I'm not gonna leave a link below because I feel like everybody watching here has come from that other channel. This is really good. We got pumpkin eggnog like a month ago and that was better. Yeah, this is really good. They should sell this year round. Very refreshing. All right, so that is this video. This is what's John doing, and this is what John is doing. I will see you tomorrow-ish. Bye.